Hello again everyone, Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's quick video I'm going to be showing you a couple really cool features within Quadro 3 that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of. So one of the main ones that we're going to be talking about is this randomize button right here in between the main and the macros tab. And what this does is it allows you to randomize different parameters of the library really quickly and easily with the different samples as well as the different sound shaping controls and as well as some of the different macro assignments with the XY pad. So before we start using the random button, I want to play for you how Quadril 3 sounds right out of the box. So we're just going to quickly just demo the sounds and just give you an idea of what it sounds like right out of the box. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and start clicking random and seeing what kind of things happen. And what I really like about this is that if you're ever in a creative jam and you are just not really having any ideas come to your head, this is a great way to get the inspiration flowing. So now let's just go ahead and click it and see what happens. And you'll see as I'm randomizing, it's changing the different sound sets, as well as doing some randomization of the sound shaping controls down here. So as I'm just clicking random, you'll see things change, as well as some of the different macro assignments with the XY pad. So with the XY, you can assign it to not only just crossfading, but also being able to assign it to different macros. And these macros have some other effects and things connected to it that'll be doing some other really awesome sound design stuff in the background. So let's just keep randomizing and seeing what kind of cool sounds we can get. So not only do you have the ability to randomize all of those different parameters to get some really unique and interesting soundscape possibilities, you also have the ability to randomize the arpeggiator. So if we head over here to the ARP tab and then we turn this on and you'll see this little dice button right here. So when you click this, you'll see all these different random arpeggio type of things that you can utilize. So one of the other really cool things about Quadro 3 is that we've included 36 wavetables. So I'm going to use this as an example to demonstrate the arpeggiator and the randomizer within the arpeggiator. So let's just go ahead and hold a chord and just hit random and see what happens. So to give this a little bit more of a shorter attack, I'm going to go ahead and turn the release all the way down. So you can just randomize and then from there, if you find something that you're liking and then you want to modify it, you can do that really easily. So if we like how this is, but we want to make it a little bit quicker, we can do that.
or we can change the direction. Maybe we want it to go up and down. All right, so that about wraps up this video showing you some of the different randomization features within Quadril 3. If you'd like to learn more about this library, make sure to head over to soundiron.com or click the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely leave it in the comments and let us know. And until next time, thank you so much. See ya.